everybody. Welcome to the Wine with Jimmy channel. I'm so delighted you're stopping by and we here give you a whole world of wine in terms of education to help you understand it, but really enjoy it a little bit more drop by drop. So we are aimed really at helping those of you studying your world of wine in things like WSET and giving you the proper syllabus with extra information to give you more confidence and understanding in the topics. Here we've got Wines of the World for the Diploma, WSET Level 4 Diploma on the Loire Valley and this is Series 4 of 7. Yes, the Loire Valley has seven series within it. Quite complex. And this is series four on the Anjou AOCs, split into this. So we have four parts available here. And this is part one, Anjou and Anjou Village. So I'm going to go through that with a Google Earth video. Part two, three and four will only be available to those of you that subscribe to my e learning portal. That's over at www.winewithjimmy.com. You won't regret it when you sign up. So if you have any comments or questions or concerns and you just have to get in touch, you can do so by commenting on this video below. Please make sure you click like and you click subscribe because every little helps with our channel just here. If you are socially media inclined, then of course you can utilize all of the handles we find at the bottom of every slide. Another plus point, by the way, of the portal at winewithjimmy.com is you don't get all these introductions <laughs> and you don't get adverts, which you might do on the world of YouTube. So what I'm going to do here is go through Anjou AOC, and then Anjou Village AOC, and then I'll show you a video, uh, just a, a very sort of short two minute Google Earth video to put it really into perspective on how the landscape looks for this specific area. So here you are on your first slide. This is on Anjou AOC. So this is really quite a large area. It's a more encompassing area. You see on this map, it's the kind of reddish area. So parts of it near the Morge Hills towards Cholet, some of it south of Samur, some of it just to the west of Samur, and a lot of it to the north and the northeast of Angers. So <laughs> it's quite a spread out uh, zone, for example, uh, and it really allows for the three colours. So we have white, red and pink production here. Um, now, the red and white wines have a maximum production here of 60 hectolitre per hectare. You'll see that's both been identified just there. Rosé is actually much greater at 67 hectolitres per hectare. And this is thought to possibly be the reason why the rosés in this category can sometimes be a little bit thinner or dilute with those higher amounts of yield possibility. Now, Anjou Blanc, which is your uh, white, which can be fabulous from here, has to be a minimum of 80% Chenin Blanc. And then Anjou Rouge, your red, <coughs> has to be a minimum of 70% Cabernet Franc and or Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, the, um, the red production here is about 920 hectares. The white is about 500 hectares. And then there's also 60 hectares for things like Anjou Gamay, which is a separate uh, classification. So if you do see the word Gamay following Anjou, it must be made from majority Gamay. Uh, but there's not a huge amount of this available. OK, <clears throat> so that's your Anjou AOC. Then there is something called Anjou Village, which is quite typical, remember, across France in terms of the appellation structure. Now, these are higher quality reds from specifically designated areas. I'll show you on the Google Earth video coming up very shortly. Uh, now, this is for still red wine only, made entirely from Cabernet Sauvignon or Cabernet Franc, either singular or blended between those. But in practice, most of these are Cabernet Franc. 
Cabernet Sauvignon, remember, is a small amount of plantations. The maximum yield here is lower than Anjou AOC at 55 hectolitres per hectare and can only be released in September, the year after harvest. Now, Anjou Village is about 200 hectares, and there's also one called Anjou Village Brissac, B-R-I-S-S-A-C, which is a specific village name. That's about 85 hectares and considered very high quality. Uh, the soil of this specific area tends to be more schistous, more gravelly, uh, and therefore producing wines of a bit more structure and a bit more colour intensity. Shall we have a look at our Google Earth video? Yes, we shall. So we can get a real nice feel for the area, just a minute and a half. So there is France in the map, and there is the Blue River Loire, part of it anyway. And we'll see all the green area here is identified vineyards. Um, <clears throat> we, of course, only are looking at the Anjou area. So let's have a look at the city that really dominates here. That's the city of Angers. I say, if you do leave this city, please don't look back in Angers. Sorry. Um, let's have a look at uh, some of the key sites here. Uh, well, just one key site, but uh, here you have the Cathedral Saint-Maurice d'Angers. A beautiful site to go and see here. It's a really beautiful place to visit Visit in Angers. Uh, and look at that, really worth um, uh, visiting. So let's have a look at the two AOCs that we were just talking about, because of course, in reference to Angers, it is, it is important. So there's the city. We're going to just pull away from the city. There you are. Uh, and that's looking from south to north now. And the city to the left, by the way, is Nantes. That is the whole area of the Anjou AOC, the possibility of it. And the blue area there uh, is our area of Anjou village, uh, mainly sort of located to the south of the city of Angers, around places like the Léon River, etc. So that gives you a good idea. Remember, it's much smaller. It's only a couple of hundred hectares in comparison to the sort of nearly 1,500 in total of a Anjou AOC. There you are. Hopefully that helps you. Uh, so let's just talk about one last thing before we finish off on this presentation. And that is that a lot of producers here don't wish to conform to the laws of the AOCs. And you'll find within Anjou, a lot of producers are actually labeling it as a van, van de France, uh, which means they have more flexibility. And of course, they can do you know, utilize different varieties and so on. I've actually included one here from Brendan Tracy. Now he's based up in uh, Vendome uh, on the on the Vendomoire, uh, which is just up the river Loire without any. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to show you this just because it's it's, it's a Van de France label from Pinot Donis, for uh, for example. Okay, so that brings me to the end of part one uh, on the Anjou and Anjou village. Uh, and that covers, remember, the syllabus that you need to know for your WSET level diploma with a few added bits, which is what I do in my presentations. WSET call that flair. In your examinations, they look for flair. That's you going the extra mile, doing extra reading, etc. And in this instance, of course, you watching my videos is helping you with that extra reading. Uh, if you do have any comments, questions or concerns, please do pop them in the comments section below or get in touch by the social media you see at the bottom of every slide. Part two on the Anjou AOCs will be looking around the Léon River. So Côté de Léon, Bonnezo and Chaume and all the little variations within those as well. That is only going to be available on my e-learning portal. So please go along and sign up if you want that exclusive content plus other things like map questions and flashcards and so on. It's been a pleasure as always. Thank you so much. And if you do find yourself in London, then please come and see me at one of my establishments, maybe for a class, maybe for a glass, or maybe for a bottle. I've been Jimmy Smith. Ciao for now. Goodbye.